feel like it's 6.8 right now. And I am a Virgo and I can't handle that. Who can really say? Scientists. Scientists can probably really say. Or the rest of PlantTube will correct me, I am sure. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. If you're new here, I make videos about my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media, all of that. I am going to show you how I am going to uh, take my propagated monastera that I have been propagating for some time now and transfer it to the LECA system, or what is also known as semi-hydroponics. So this is a way to grow plants without using dirt, and I first learned about this when I was scouring YouTube, looking for tips in the YouTube plant community on how to get rid of gnats. I really think this is a great system if you are someone who lives in an apartment, you don't have access to a yard and a hose so you can easily you know, transfer your dirt and do other things and play around with dirt mixtures. You know, if you don't have a garage, I am at, live in an apartment. I live on the fourth floor. So whenever it is time to refertilize my plants via dirt, it's a real hassle. It really is difficult. So yeah, this is why I've been leaning towards this system. And I currently have, I want to eventually do all of my plants in LECA. But right now I've just converted to just to sort of get my feet wet on the process. One of them is this Hoya Crimson Crown named Bertoli, as you can see. And I, I put this in LECA from dirt um, a little over a month ago and it's doing really well. As you can see, it's called a Hoya Crimson Crown because they end up getting these pretty, pretty red leaves. Um, if they're happy. And so this leaf actually came up about a week or two after I had transferred it to LECA and I was like, that means it's happy, yay. The other plant that I have put to LECA is Marble Nuggets, that's his name, but um, it is a philodendron. And this was a uh, propagation that I had going just in a jar with some water for about a month or so. And then after I saw it really uh, starting to take root in the jar of water, I switched it to LECA. And it hasn't put out any new leaves yet, but I'll do a close up of the roots. Oh my goodness, it has taken off in LECA. It seems to really like it. And so I'm just giving him some space, you know, letting him really get a great root system going. And then hopefully, you know, in another couple weeks, months, I'll get a nice new leaf. So these are the two plants I've already put into LECA. And again, today we're going to put my Monastera into LECA. And I have been propagating this Monastera just in this little Folgers cup, you know, try to use your plastic as much as you can, try to keep it out of the landfill when you can. Um, and also keeping your plastic in glass jars is really great if you're gonna try LECA out. Um, so just keep them around, it'll, it'll be helpful, trust me. But I have been propagating this Monastera for um, like almost two months, it's been a while. I, first, I got it right when we all started um, having to stay home and social distance. And you can see it is very ready <laughs> very, very ready to be potted into something. <laughs> it has completely taken off. The roots have roots, which is awesome. You love to see that. This is just a simple flower vase that my husband actually usually uses during, whenever he brings me fresh flowers, he puts them in this vase. And I politely asked him, hey, can I have that? <laughs> and I have created a reservoir system for it. So by drilling a hole into this glass, um, it'll be ready to go for LECA. If you're not going to have your LECA done in, um, in nursery pots, like different size nursery pots, that's something that a lot of people do. They'll keep the LECA and the plant in a nursery pot and then have just a filler pot, like a Folge, like this Folgers cup, for example. If you can't do that, because you don't have a lot of nursery pots, because I don't, I don't, then the other way you can do it is to just drill a hole in whatever vessel you're gonna use about a third of the way up. To drill this hole, I used a diamond bit. I'll put the link in the description box for you, so if you wanna buy it, you can. 
um, and I just drilled it here at home in my apartment, um, having just a little bit of cold water nearby because I have a little hand drill. Here is our LECA. I have it soaking in water right now. It's been soaking for maybe an hour. Um, I have seen other people say you should soak it for 24 hours. You should try to, um, you know, have it soaking for days and things like that. I have, I didn't do that with either of these and they seem to be fine. I just kind of soaked it for like an hour or two. Basically this has been soaking while I set up my camera and lights to start filming. And I also made sure to rinse the LECA off to get all of the sort of clay debris that isn't necessarily the balls themselves. Try to rinse them out until the water runs clean and then you're good to go. The thing that I really like about this too is that once you buy LECA, you, you just use it. So once you have it, you have it. You don't have to keep buying and throwing it out and things like that like you would with dirt. So that's another reason why I really like LECA a lot. The last thing I'm gonna show you on how to do with this video, and then we'll get started, I promise, how to uh, create your nutrient water to help sustain your plants and help them grow. So with this Monastera, since it is a new plant that I am putting into LECA, to help with that transition, I'm going to use Super Thrive in water. And this is how your plants grow. Combining that with the aeration, it's getting good oxygen. Plants need oxygen just like we do. And then the water, it's a very controlled environment for them. So I'll use Super Thrive on this Monastera to help it um, ease into the LECA system and help it have a better time of doing that. Although it should be fine because again, I've noticed that propagating in water and then switching to LECA, they seem to like that because it's a pretty seamless transition. Uh, so I'll use Super Thrive water and I will show you how to pH balance your water. Um, plants actually like their pH with water to be, I want to say between 5 and 6. 5.5 and 6.5. I was close. Let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and head off camera and drain the water out of our LECA balls and then I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and emptied out the water, most of the water, from our LECA. It is here. It is ready to go and I have our bowl and then I have our plant. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill this up about, about halfway. Oop. See, that's the beautiful thing about LECA though. You drop some and it's not a big deal. Just go pick it up. <laughs> I wanna do like a little bit more. Uh, because you want to make sure that you're letting the plant be able to grow down, right? So giving it space to grow down. That is probably good. Don't want to do too much more than that. I just really want to make sure these roots seem like they really are going to want to drill deep. So I'm trying to make sure I give the monastery space to do that. But I think this is pretty good. Now we're just gonna place our monastera in. I mean, it's basically as if it were dirt, you know? And just kind of like place it nicely. But don't worry about making sure things are going down and stuff. It'll figure it out, you know? And then we're just gonna fill it all the way up to the top. And as we're filling, we're gonna make sure we're kind of shaking to get the leka to really set the plant in place. But you're not trying to like push it down. You're just shaking so the balls kind of fall into the nooks and crannies and, and really set. So I'm gonna give it like a little shake right now actually. Actually two of the roots are already like went down so that's cool. And we're gonna just fill it up the rest of the way. Folgers for the win. Hashtag not spawn. so good. Wow, I'm really loving this. That's the other thing I really like about LECA, like even you, I really enjoy having the uh, vessels be clear because it it's like it adds a depth, a texture, just seeing the balls. I, I think so. And again, one good final shake to really make sure everything's kind of in place. And that, that looks great. I think this looks really good. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this thing. Oh, and I can already see our roots are peeking out a little bit. 
which is cute, saying hello, little peekaboo roots. <laughs> So that's nice. So we're gonna set this aside. Sorry, I just like had a moment because I'm so happy I found this little guy just on the river walk, crazy. So we're going to now prep our water, our nutrient water. So since this is a propagated plant, we're gonna start off with Super Thrive to make sure that it can transition very easily to the LECA. This container is a just a, um, half gallon jug that was originally used for vinegar, I think white wine, white rice vinegar, and I just saved it after we finished using it. Deemed it the uh, nutrient water vessel, if you will. Um, so let's get right into it. I have filled this up, this is about a half gallon. I have filled it with water. And for Super Thrive, you want to use you're only supposed to use a fourth of a teaspoon of Super Thrive in a gallon of water. But as you can see, this is a half gallon container. So I'm gonna eyeball half of a fourth of a teaspoon <laughs> and hope for the best. Um, you know, I just live my life recklessly sometimes and I, you know, just gotta do it. I'm gonna dump that in and then put the top on and give it a good shake to kind of get the solution all the way through the water. And so now here comes the fun part, <laughs> using science to figure out what our pH balance is. I feel, I feel like 10 year old me would think this was the coolest thing ever. I mean, I'm almost 30 and I think this is the coolest thing ever now, so I love it. All right. So we're gonna take a little bit of our, use our eyedropper here, and we're gonna take a little bit of the water out. And then they, this pH balance system comes with this little cap for you to use. And we're gonna put it in our little cap. Okay. Then, and then we're gonna take our test indicator liquid, three to five drops in our little sample of water from the jug. Good shake and here is the color and according to on this pH indicator it lets you know where you want based on the color what the pH of the sample of water is and so again for healthy happy plants with water you want the pH to be around 5.5 and 6.5 and Looking at this color and based on the color spectrum, we're closer to five. Um, I would like to see it be a smidge more green than this. So I'm going to go and add a little bit, just a tiny bit of pH up to this, just a little bit of pH up into this. You really don't need too much. It just a smidge of pH up will do. Um, just to get it, I, I kind of just want to get it closer to six, like have a little bit more of a green, kind of orangey green look to it. I think this is about as close as I'll be able to get. It feels like I am in between six and 6.5 right now. It took a while, but we got there, okay? A little late, just be happy that I'm here, all right? <laughs> what I am gonna do is I'm going to go to the sink really quick and let the water fill up quite a bit and then empty it out. Essentially flush the whole thing out just to help the LECA really make sure that it gets like nice and settled in. The water kind of helps with that. And then I'm gonna come back on and fill it with the nutrient water up into the reservoir. So I'll be right back. So I went and just gave it one more good flush to make sure that all the LECA is nice and wet and also that a good amount of water kind of covered the roots and covered the plant itself. And now I'm going to take our painstaking nutrient water that we have made and just begin to pour it again kind of trying to pour it evenly across the plant so some of it kind of lands on it as well the ideally we don't let any water come out because we took so long for us to get it together so you know pour slowly um, be careful and kind of keep checking but just kind of you know I'm kind of trying to pour all along 
yeah, kind of hoping I can get some good uh, water drippage. Look, we're almost there, okay. Uh, a little bit more. And that is it. That is, it's, it's ready, it's done. I'm gonna now put this plant over by my, I have a giant balcony window. And that's why a lot of my plants kind of live in this corner because the balcony window, but I'm gonna put him right on top of my little table over here so he can get nice, good sun. Uh, when you are doing a propagation and putting it into LECA, make sure you have the plant get a lot of sun um, just to help it again with that transition, make it feel really good, make it feel really happy. So this beautiful Monastera is done. Thank you so much again for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Big shout out to my Patreon production team, patreon.com slash Halise. There you get early access to videos as well as private weekly vlogs. It's an awesome time. And also coming soon, I will be having editing and filming classes on my Patreon as well. So it's a good time. Check it out if you're interested, patreon.com slash Halise. And I will see you when I see you.